Hi, this is Scott Hanselman. I wanted to take a second to show you some of the new tools inside of Visual Studio 2012 and ASP.NET. Today, Page Inspector. Page Inspector works in all aspects of ASP.NET, so you can use it with web forms, or MVC, doesn't matter. Let me jump into Visual Studio here. This is just a basic ASP.NET application. I can bring Page Inspector up by either right-clicking and saying View in Page Inspector, or it shows up here in my browser menu alongside the rest of the browsers that are on my system. Firefox IE Page Inspector. I'll go ahead and run Page Inspector. And you'll see that an integrated browser pops up inside of Visual Studio. On the lower left corner here, we have a live DOM. This isn't the HTML source code, but rather a live DOM showing what's happening in my browser. And notice as I hover over it, it's inspecting the elements, showing me exactly what I'm looking at. So here's this div. I can open that up, look at the nav section, and look at individual items. And as I click around on the right side here, I've got the CSS that's being applied to those, and I can turn things on and off live. So this is a live DOM and a live CSS. Now often in web development, you'll find yourself wanting to know the answer to a simple question. What line of code made that HTML? I might have a complicated system with lots of partials and controls that I've built up over a number of months with a hierarchy. But if I just want to know what generated this about, I could go hunting around in my source code, or I could click Inspect. And now as I move around, not only am I getting that live tracking, notice that all three windows are updating. I can see where the HTML happened. I can see the CSS applied to that HTML, but then on the right-hand side there, I can see in the source code the actual line of code that generated that HTML. And it's moving from the controllers into the view all around the application. If, if there were partial classes, I can see where that partial was generated and who generated that partial. Like in this instance here, if I hover over register, that came out of the login partial.cshtml. Well, this link happened inside of a layout, and this link happened in the about page. So there's three different source code files here, and I'm able to move cleanly between them. I can click on any one of them, start making a change. Notice that the page inspector says that there's been some changes. I can go and either use a hotkey or just click to refresh the browser. It'll run that source code again, and I can see that that change has been updated. Notice even as I select on the left-hand side, it's actually selecting the code that did that work on the right-hand side. Same thing applies with CSS. If I wanted to take a look, for example, at this About menu, I can see what CSS styles were applied, but I can also click on them and go directly to the CSS rule that applied that make a change to that, perhaps with one of the uh, CSS features that we've got, like the color picker, and then hit refresh and see the change immediately. That's the page inspector, and we really think that it fills a nice gap between the client-side tools that you're used to using and server-side debugging. We hope you enjoy it.